Hello friends, let's move on to the second turn of the battle that took place between elements of Camp Grub Stefan that engaged units of the 4th Royal Tank Regiment at the beginning of Operation Crusader in Libya in 1941. In this battle, British forces are represented by American Stuart Light Tanks that oppose German forces made up of a wide range of Panzers, whose main star is the Panzer 3H with its 50mm cannon and a frontal armor factor of 6. For this phase, the novelty will be the advance of the Stuarts towards the Panzer line, with the aim of attacking the German tanks from a more favorable angle. Furthermore, the burden of the sun blindness effect will be reversed in favor of British units. Let's see how things pans out. Rally phase. No actions. Prep fire phase. Smoke markers are removed and no more activities occur in the prep fire phase. Movement phase. Stuart in 27 Q8 moves towards German lines. Spends 7 movement points until 27 W7 where he is attacked by the Panzer in 27 W9. 3 hexes away, requiring 10 to hit the target with the modifiers plus 2, moving target, plus 1, button down, that is, a shot of 10 plus 2. 3 plus 2, 5, and Stuart is hit in the turret and maintains the rate of fire. The German 50mm cannon has a base to kill of 11 against the armor factor of the Stuart turret's side face, the square a turn the numeral 3 on the Stuart marker means a higher or more factor on the Stuart turret. The modified cut number is 7, 11 minus 4, requiring a result of 8 or less to affect Stuart. 6. And the Stuart is destroyed. Jim doesn't stop being Jim and forgets to roll the dice to assist the survival of Stuart's crew. Stuart in 27Q10 moves to 27Y10, spending 8 movement points where he is attacked by the same panzer using the rate of fire. At 1 hex distance the basic number to hit Stuart will be 10, plus 2, moving target, plus 1, button up, plus 1, turning the turret by an angle, minus 2, point blank shooting. The shot will be 10 plus 2. 11. Stuart is not hit with the Panzer losing rate of fire. Stuart continues his movement to 27R10, where he turns to angels towards Stuart and spends one movement point to stop. In this hex you will shoot at the Panzer using bounding fire. This Panzer rotates the turret towards the Stuart to fire the coaxial machine gun at the Stuart which will have no effect as the steward has its crew buttoned up and the dice roll will only serve to check whether the machine gun becomes non-functional. Now it's steward's turn to act and he will shoot the panzer. The shot is fired at close range, one hex away, requiring 10 to hit, plus 4, bounding fire with slow turret, plus 1, buttoned up, minus 2 shot at close range. Jim uses Stuart's minus 2 acquisition factor, which is absolutely wrong, as Stuart moved, losing the acquisition. Furthermore, shots fired as a bounding fire do not gain acquisition, which would be possible if the shot was fired in the next advancing fire phase. In any case, the result is 9, the target is not hitted and the acquisition marker should not be maintained. Stuart in 27Q9 moves to 27Y10, where he stops moving, spending 10 movement points, the turret marker that was mistakenly as crew exposed is corrected to button down. 
In this hex, it suffers an attack from the Panzer in 27Z0, 10 hexes away, which requires 9 to hit the target, plus 2, moving target, plus 1, buttoned up, plus 1 for turning the turret for an angle, minus 1 by the armored leader. The shot will be 9 plus 3. It is worth remembering that the wreck marker does not count as a modifier for to hit, as this marker was placed by the destruction of Stuart in this phase, and this wreck is considered a moving target until the advancing fire phase and cannot be used as a modifier for shots that cross this hex. 6 plus 3, 9. The steward is hit in the frontal aspect of the turret and the panzer maintains the rate of fire. 8. Possible shock and the steward crew must undergo a normal test check. The British crew's morale is 8 and if they do not pass the check test this tank will be considered in shock. 8. The crew passes the check test and nothing happens. New shot, using the rate of fire. Basic number to hit is 9, plus 2, moving target, plus 1, buttoned up, minus 1 for the German leader, minus 1 for acquiring the target. 8 plus 1, 9, and Stuart is hit in the turret, with the Panzer maintaining the rate of fire. 9. Stuart is not hit and Jim mistakenly considers that the Panzer's rate of fire has been exhausted and, furthermore, does not rotate the aspect of the acquisition marker to phase minus 2. Stuart proceeds to 27Z10 where he stops moving and launches a bounding first fire on the Panzer at 27Z9. The shot takes place one hex away, requiring 10 to hit with modifiers plus 4, bounding fire and slow turret, plus one buttoned up, minus two because the shot is at point blank range. 8 plus 3, 11, and the target is not hit. The steward continues to 27 BB9 where, after rotating the vehicle cover arc to axis 27 R9 and R10, it ends the movement. Stuart at 27R4 moves to 27R2, spending 12 movement points. In this hex it suffers an attack from the Panzer in 28Z3 towards the side face of the Stuart 9 hexes away, requiring 9 to hit the Stuart, plus 2 by turning the turret into angels, plus 1 buttoned up, plus 2 moving target. 8 plus 5, 13, the target is not hit and the Panzer loses the rate of fire. The Panzer IIIH in 28Z0 fires at the steward from 12 hexes away, requiring 9 to hit the steward, plus 2, moving target, plus 1, buttoned up, plus 2 by turning the turret by 2 angels, minus 1 by German armor leader. 9 plus 6 shot. 5 plus 6, 11, the target is not hit, and the Panzer loses the rate of fire. The steward continues until 27 CC1 where, after turning the vehicle axle towards 28 BB10 and CC10 the movement stops. In this hex you will use bounding first fire on the Panzer in 27 Z0. 3 hexes away, requiring 10 to hit the Panzer, plus 4, Bounding fire slow turret, plus 1, buttoned up. 8 plus 5, 13, the target is not hit, and Stuart loses the rate of fire. Jim makes a mistake again, and puts the acquisition marker on the Panzer. Stuart at 28 Q6 moves towards German lines to 28 R4. In this hex you will suffer an intensive fire from 28Z3, one hex away, with the modifiers of plus 2, intensive fire, plus 1, buttoned up, plus 2, moving target, minus 2, point blank shooting.
Jim doesn't factor in the plus to modifier for solar blindness, hurting the British once again. 5 plus 3, 8, Stuart is hit in the side of the hull. The basic to kill is 11 minus 3, are more factor on the side of the hull, requiring 9 or less to affect the steward. 9. Possible shock, in which the steward crew will have to undergo a normal test check. 7. The steward crew passes by, and the shot has no effect. The Panzer in 28Z0 will fire its intensive fire 4 hexes away, requiring 9 more to hit the target, plus 2, intensive fire, plus 2, moving target, plus, 1 button up, minus 1 for the German leader. 7 plus 4, 11, the target is not hit. Stuart rotates the vehicular coverage arc towards the Panzer, seizing movement where he will launch a bounding fire on the adjacent Panzer. One hex away, requiring 10 to hit the target, plus 4, bounding fire slow turret, plus 1, button da, minus 2 because the shot is at close range, one hex away. 10 plus 3, 13, the target is not hit. Stuart in 28Q3 moves towards the German lines. During movement, it modifies the turret's coverage arc, not incurring the expense of additional movement points. The Panzer acquisition markers track Stuart's movement. In Hex 28W2 it suffers an attack from Panzer 4E12 hexes away, requiring 9 to hit the target, plus 2, moving target, plus 1, button up, minus 2 for the acquisition marker. It is important to remember that this Panzer has exhausted its armor piercing ammunition and the basic number to kill with HE ammunition is only 6, with a low probability of affecting Stuart. 9 plus 1, 10, and Stuart is not hit with the Panzer losing rate of fire. Stuart continues to 28Z to where he is attacked by the Panzer in 27Z57 hexes away, requiring 9 to hit Stuart, plus 2, moving target, plus 1 button up. 7 plus 3, 10, the target is not hit, and Stuart loses the rate of fire. Stuart continues to 28BB1 where he turns the vehicle cover arc, seizing movement and will attack the Panzer at 28Z0. The Panzer, realizing the Stuart's bad intentions, turns its vehicle cover and turret arc towards the Stuart to fire with the hull and coaxial machine guns. The shots are fired and the machine guns are not rendered inoperative. Stuart attacks from two hexes away, requiring 10 to hit the Panzer, plus 4, bounding fire slow turret, plus 1, buttoned up, minus 1 for being shot at close range, two hexes away. Again, Jim makes a mistake and places an acquisition marker on the attacked Panzer. 10 plus 4, 14, the target is not hit, and Stuart loses the rate of fire. At this point, Jim makes a mistake and will allow a shot from the Panzer in 27Z6 on this Stuart. This attack could only happen in the next defensive fire phase because Stuart ended his movement and fired a shot. For this attack, the Panzer turns its turret towards the Stuart. The attack takes place 3 hexes away, requiring 10 to hit the target, plus 2, turret rotation, plus 2, moving target, plus 1, button down. 3 plus 5, 8, and Stuart is hit on the side of the turret, and the Panzer maintains the rate of fire. With the base to kill of 6, the ammo, minus 4 of the Stuart's turret are more factor, it will take 3 or less to affect the Stuart. 7. Stuart is not affected. 
New shot using the rate of fire with 10 to hit plus 2, moving target plus 1, Batinda minus 1, acquisition. Five plus two, seven. Stuart is hit in the turret, and the Panzer maintains the rate of fire. Ten. Stuart is not affected. New shot requiring ten to affect. Plus two. Moving target. Plus one. Buttoned up. Minus two. Acquisition. Nine plus one, ten. The Stuart is hit in the rear aspect of the hull. Are more factor of 3, and the Panzer loses rate of fire. The to kill is 6 minus 3. Stuart's hull side are more factor, requiring 4 or less to affect the Stuart. 9 and Stuart is unaffected. Stuart at 27 Q4 moves to 27 DD3 where he swings his cover arc to attack Panzer 2. The Panzer turns its vehicular cover arc to attack the Stuart with its 20mm cannon, exposing the front face that has the thickest armor. This shot will require 10 to hit, plus 4, rotation of the vehicle coverage arc by 2 angels, plus 2, moving target, plus 1, buttoned up, plus the value of the die with the lowest value multiplied by 2, the Panzer is in motion, minus 2 for the point blank shot. Double six twelve and Panzer II's cannon becomes non-functional. Now it's Stuart's turn to attack the Panzer with bounding fire, plus four, bounding fire slow turret, plus one, buttoned up, plus two, target is in motion, minus two, point blank shot. The recurring error of adding the acquisition marker happens. Double one, critical hit, and the attack will be carried out with a double to kill of 22 and Panzer II is eliminated and Stuart maintains the rate of fire. The assessment to assess whether the Panzer crew survives the attack. 8 and the crew is eliminated. With this, the British hit their first victory and gained 5 victory points against Germans 25 points. Stuart at 27 Q to moves to 27 arc to where he turns the cover arc towards the nearby Panzer and ceases movement. The Panzer carries out an attack against the Stuart with its coaxial and hull machine guns, turning its most heavily armored face, 6, towards the Stuart. The machine guns fire and remain operational. Now it's Stuart's turn to attack, needing 10 to hit the target, plus 2, bounding fire, plus 1, buttoned up, minus 1 for the point blank shot, to hexes. 7 plus 2, 9, the Panzer is hit in the turret and Stuart maintains the rate of fire. Jim simply ignores the fact that the Panzer was hit and also for the rate of fire to remain and proceeds to the rally phase of the German phase of the second hit. Sorry about this. Rally phase. No actions. Prep fire phase. Panzer at 27Z9 fires at Stuart at 27R10, requiring 10 to hit the target, plus 1, buttoned up, minus 2. Point blank shot, minus 1, acquisition. 5 minus 2, 3. Stuart is hit in the hull, and the Panzer loses rate of fire. The basic to kill is 11, and the modified to kill is 7, 11 minus 4 by the Stuart hull's frontal armor factor, with 8 or less required to affect the target. 6 and the steward is destroyed and Jim forgets to roll the dice to assess the crew's survival. Jim will fire with the coaxial and hull machine guns on the steward in 27 BB9 knowing that the steward will not be affected. This could be if the steward's crew was exposed thus directing the face with greater armor towards the enemy. 
Panzer at 27Z0 will attack the Stuart at 27R2, one hex away, requiring 10 to hit the target, plus 1, Batinda, minus 1 for the point blank shot at 2 hexes away. 7. Stuart is hit in the hull and the Panzer loses rate of fire. 5. And there goes one more Stuart and Jim forget to roll the dice to assist the survival of the British crew. Panzer 4 E fires on Stuart at 28 R4 from 3 hexes away requiring 10 to hit Stuart, plus 1, Batinda, minus 2, acquisition. 4 minus 1, 3. Stuart is hit in the side of the hull. 9. And Stuart is unaffected. New shot with the same modifiers. 9 minus 1, 8. Stuart is hit again in the hull and the Panzer maintains the rate of fire. These shots fired by Panzer 4 will be fired with HE ammunition with a reduced to kill of 6 and a modified to kill of 3, requiring 4 or less to affect Stuart. 7. Stuart is not affected. New shot taking advantage of the maintenance of the rate of fire with the same modifiers. 10 minus 1, 9. Stuart is hit in the turret and the Panzer loses rate of fire. 10 and the Panzer is not affected. Panzer in 27Z3 fires on the adjacent Stuart, taking 10 to hit, plus 1, Batinda, minus 2, point blank shot from 1 hex away, minus 1 for acquisition. 3 minus 2, 1, and Stuart is hit in the hull with the Panzer maintaining rate of fire. The modified to hit is 7, requiring 8 or less to affect Stuart. 8. Possible shock and Stuart's crew will undergo a normal test check. 3. And the crew passes and Stuart is unaffected. New shot taking advantage of the rate of fire with modifiers plus 1, Batinda, minus 2, acquisition, minus 2, point blank range. 7 minus 3, 4, Stuart is hit in the hull and the Panzer loses rate of fire. The modified to kill is 7, requiring 8 or less to affect Stuart. 7 and Stuart is immobilized. The Panzer makes a change in the vehicular coverage arc to attack the Stuart with the hull's machine gun, exposing the most heavily armored face towards the Stuart. Jim does not roll the dice to see if the machine gun becomes non-functional. Panzer fire at 27Z0 on Stuart at 27BB3 from 2 hexes away, requiring 10 to hit Stuart plus 1, Batinda, minus 1, point blank range and hexes away, minus 1, German leader. 9 minus 1, 8, and Stuart is hit in the hull. The Panzer loses the rate of fire. 6. One less Stuart on the face of the earth, and Jim does not assess the possibility of survival of the Stuart's crew. Panzer in 26Z5 rotates the turret's covering arc and fires a shot at the Stuart in 28R4 from 9 hexes away, requiring 9 to hit the target, plus 1, button up, plus 1 for turning the turret by one angle. 6 and the turret is hit and the Panzer maintains the rate of fire. 9 plus 2, 11, the target is not hit and the Panzer loses the rate of fire. Movement Phase Panzer 4E at 26P3 starts movement and moves to hex 26Z10. In this hex he tries to deposit a smoke marker without success and ends his movement in motion. 
Panzer II moves to hex 28N1 where it ends its movement in motion. Defensive fire phase Stuart in 28R4 will fire a shot at the Panzer in the adjacent hex requiring 10 to hit, plus 1, button up, minus 2, shot at close range, minus 1, acquisition. Bad result Double six and in addition to the target not being hit, Stuart's cannon becomes non-functional. Stuart in 27 CC1 fires on Panzer in 28Z0, requiring 10 to hit the enemy plus 1, button da, minus 1 for acquisition. 5. And the Panzer is hit in the turret and Stuart maintains the rate of fire. The modified to kill will be 7, 11 original to kill minus 4 from the frontal aspect of the Panzer turret and at least 8 will be needed to affect the Panzer. 4. And in great news, one of the best German Panzers is destroyed. When rolling the dice to determine whether the Panzer crew survives. 6. And the Panzer crew survives its destruction. With the destruction of the Panzer, the leader ceases to exist and is also eliminated from the board. Stuart will carry out an attack against the Panzer crew with machine guns, with 6 firepower and one more for the wreck. This shot should receive a modifier of minus 2 due to the fact that this crew was under the effect of hazardous movement during the destruction of the Panzer. 8 plus 1, 9, no effect. Stuart in 28 DD3 fires on Panzer 4 in 26 Z6 from 9 hexes away, taking 8 to hit the target, plus 1, buttoned up. 8 plus 1, 9, the Panzer is not hit and Stuart loses the rate of fire. This Stuart fires coaxial and hull machine guns at the crew in 27Z10 with 6 firepower plus 1, another attack that should be subject to the plus 2 modifier for hazardous movement. 6 plus 1, 7, normal morale check. 4. The crew passes. Shot from Stuart in 26 BB9 against Panzer in 26 Z9, requiring 10 to hit the Panzer plus 1, button da, minus 1 for the point blank shot from 1 hex away. 7. The Panzer is hit in the hull and Stuart loses rate of fire. 9. And the Panzer is unaffected. With this last attack we will end the clash. At this point German supremacy is clear, with 8 stewards eliminated, 40 victory points, in addition to leaving a 9th tank immobilized with a non-functional gun. Meanwhile, the British hit only 8 victory points, with the destruction of a Panzer II and a Panzer III, of which one of the crews survived. The morale of the British is low and expectations are not good regarding the third turn. However, this is the advanced squad leader, and anything can happen with trends changing from one moment to the next. See you soon. Namaste.